What's up, Internet? My name is Kyle, back with another video about cameras, tech, and all that good stuff. Well, I am home, inside, trying to flatten the curve. As everybody knows, COVID-19 is just affecting everything. I must admit, I'm going a little stir-crazy uh, with my job. I'm working from home. Me and my girlfriend are trying to stay home as much as possible. The weather hasn't been very nice yesterday and today on the weekend, and it just, it's its not a good vibe all around. Obviously, myself and my girlfriend, we're not healthcare workers. We're not on the front lines. So, you know, thank you to all of those people who are doing that. We are just home, and we're trying to find things to do and things like that. And I figured, why not just make a spur of the moment video? And the video idea I came up with was my camera collection. Now, I don't have the biggest camera collection in the world. I am a camera nerd, but you know, I don't just buy, you know, all different types of cameras just for the sake of having it. These are pretty much all of the cameras I've used in the past and some that were given to me. And we're gonna go over each one and maybe I'll show like a photo example if I can. And yeah. So let's do that to take my mind off of other things that are going on and hopefully you guys get a little enjoyment out of my little camera collection. All right, so I need to find the charger for this thing, but this is my first camera ever. This is a Canon power shot, if it can zoom in right there. It is a S410 digital ELPH, whatever that means, electronic photo. I, this is a four megapixel camera quite the amount of megapixels there. I bought this for around 300, maybe $350. I'll have to go back. This was like one of the first things I've ever bought from Amazon. I bought this because my senior high school class trip, we were going to Florida, we were going to, you know, Universal and Disney, and I wanted to take pictures and video. I also wanted to do video of roller coaster rides because I am a roller coaster enthusiast. I'm a total nerd about that, if you didn't know that about me. This was my first dedicated camera that I bought with my own money and everything like that. And uh, it kind of really got me into video more so than photo. But yeah, this is where it all began. Okay, next is the first DSLR I ever bought. And I bought this camera specifically for YouTube. And believe it or not, my Instagram at Hi Kyle Taggart, uh, which was a different Instagram name at the time, this camera, I took a picture of it with maybe my phone, I think, an iPhone, and it was my first post ever on that Instagram profile. And it is the Canon T3i, Canon Rebel, and the model is T3i right there. I think they're up to T7 at this point, so they have a T3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then the i is a different version of said DSLR, but yeah, this was the first camera I ever bought specifically for YouTube. I'm not so sure why I ended up purchasing this one. At the time, I think the Canon 70D was the most you know, popular um, Canon camera. I did not know, however, that this camera does not have autofocus within video. So I couldn't do something like this where I put it up to the camera and it focuses on an item and then pull it away and it focuses on my face. I didn't know that existed yet. I think really the main reason I bought this camera is because it has a flip out screen so I could see myself when recording. Um, but yeah, I used this for a couple, maybe a few years. I used this for YouTube purposes strictly. I wasn't really into photography that much still when I bought this camera up until really until I met my girlfriend, Meg. She used a Canon T3 and that is right here. Meg used this Canon T3. The big difference between the two is this screen does not flip out. So um, she used to, you know, take most of her photos with this. And then I was like, hey, why don't I start getting into photography? And then I kind of really fell in love more so with photography than video, even though I still love doing video stuff. Okay, and then next, uh, when the film craze kind of got started, or really the instant film craze got started, I bought a Fuji Mini Instax 90. Um, the reason why I bought this is because it has a couple of different settings that you can do. Um, you can do lighter or darker or macro shots. Uh, so it has a couple different modes that it, you know, makes it more of a configurable Instax camera besides just pressing the button and then, you know, a piece of film popping out. I wanted a little more control than that. 
So I got this guy, I believe it was like 110 bucks. So it was like more expensive than the other colorful ones that you usually find. Um, I'm not sure what those are named, but yeah. So I got the Fuji Insects Mini 90. I love this thing. Uh, it takes just the vertical film. Um, and yeah, we've taken this on road trips, taken a bunch of pictures with it, and I need to use it more often. And speaking of film cameras, this isn't mine, but I got my girlfriend the wide Fujifilm uh, Instax 210. So much like mine, uh, it has different settings that you can use. So it's not just, you know, press and pray. Um, and then also what's cool about this is it has the big wide film. Uh, so it's not just the little vertical guys. So really cool. Uh, she would take this. I would take the other one. We took a bunch of photos of like our first big road trip over on the West Coast together. And yeah, love these film cameras. Okay, the next two were gifts from my parents. And sadly, I haven't used them yet, but I will. I, I promise I will use these. And this first one is, forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, an Asahi Pentax K1000. This thing is so beautiful from head to toe if it has heads or toes definitely has that vintage look it's probably really not that old overall in terms of years and everything maybe like 20 30 years old or something like that but i really want to get this cleaned and then of course i want to try and use it and everything like that i've taken some really cool macro photos of it which i'll put on the screen now but my dad used this camera way back in the day and I think it was when they were moving, when they sold our childhood house in 2015, my dad was like, here, take it or else it's going to get thrown in the trash. And I was like, no, do not throw that out. So he gave me this. I don't have any film for it or anything like that, but I need to clean it. And then I definitely need to use it. Okay. This next one is really cool. It's one of my favorite cameras that I have. It is the Bolzi Model C and it is super vintage-y looking. I also took some macro shots of this thing. It's a twin lens reflex camera. It is a top down viewfinder. Let me see if I can show you that. Here is the view from the top. If you can see inside of there, I mean, it's just showing the ceiling at this point, but if I put my hand up, you can see my hand through the lenses. So yeah, it's really cool looking. So what's unique about this camera is it has two lenses. So it's a twin lens reflex camera. And to be honest with you, I don't know much about that type of camera. Uh, you've seen maybe a picture of another twin uh, lens camera on my Instagram that I took. I found another one in a coffee shop. However, I've never actually used this camera. I, I really need to get into using film cameras more often, but I, I have no idea if I can even use this or if it even works. My parents bought this from a camera shop last year and gave it to me for Christmas. Um, I think they got it for like 50 bucks or something like that. Yeah, so again, need to clean this guy and try and see if it works and everything like that. But it's really heavy, definitely vintage feeling. And it came with this awesome leather case, which I'll show you guys on screen. And yeah, I really love this thing. I took like hundreds of pictures of it when I first got it because I just thought it was so cool looking. And yeah, if you guys have this type of camera, if anybody has one, let me know in the comments. How do I use it? It's got really cool, like, you know, lift slightly and wind instructions on the knobs and things like that. But I don't, I don't know how to use it. So maybe I'll have to look up a YouTube video and figure that out. Okay. And then the next couple cameras are right behind me. And one of them is filming me right now. So let's grab one of those. So the first one is very obvious. It is the Sony a6000 with the 35 millimeter F 1.8 on it right now. As you guys know, my YouTube channel is very centered around this camera. I got this, I think in 2016, it's seen better days. It's battery door is busted. It's definitely seen better days overall. I don't baby my gear. So things get broken, but I use them. This is definitely the camera I'm most comfortable with. I obviously wouldn't make tutorials or, you know, menu guides or anything like that if I wasn't. And I love this camera. You guys know that I talk about it all the time. I make videos about it all the time. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite cameras of all time. Next is the Canon M50, which a lot of you have seen me post a lot of Instagram pictures 
uh, with this camera. I always hashtag what camera I use for each photo, which ironically, I posted a photo today of my dog Harvey. No idea what camera or what lens I used because there was no EXIF data, but I digress. The Canon M50 is an amazing little camera. Uh, unlike the A6000, it has a swivel screen and it's touchscreen. The menus are touchscreen compatible. And yeah, it is a super tiny camera. As you see, I have a pancake 20 millimeter lens on or 22 millimeter lens on right now. I love its super small size. The Sony A6000 is small as well. I made a video comparing both the A6000 and the Canon M50 to each other. So check that out if you're interested in that. I mainly got the Canon M50 because I found a sale during like a Black Friday Thanksgiving sale like two to three, probably two years ago. And I just couldn't pass it up. It was on eBay. I got the camera and uh, the kit lens for like $420. And then I got extra batteries and a charger. I think all in all, it was like $440-ish or something like that. And I had been wanting to really kind of try out Canon's APS-C mirrorless side. So it was kind of a no brainer for me being a camera channel and everything like that. So I go back and forth between these two using them for photo and stuff like that. But I have a new camera that I use for YouTube now. So that camera is the Sony a6100 that's filming me right now with the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4. I will use that for 99% of my YouTube footage. Any B-roll that you've seen in this video was with that setup, the 6100 and Sigma 16. I just made a video about the A6000 versus the Sony A6100, so check that out if you're wondering what's the difference between the 6000 and the 6100. The 6100 is basically just the upgraded or the next generation of the A6000. Now this A6100 is on loan from Lens Rentals. They sent it to me for to make videos and stuff like that about it. However, I am purchasing a 6100, so that will be my next official camera. And there's really two main reasons why I'm buying it. One, there's no video record limit. So as I'm doing this video right now, I've been recording for almost 30 minutes and it's not overheating and it doesn't have a limit. So it can go past the 30 minutes, which the A6000 and Canon M50 have a 30 minute recording limit. And with there being no recording limit, it also doesn't have any overheating issues which the A6000 has. And that's my camera collection. Not the biggest camera collection in the world. I used to have a couple action cameras back in the day. I had the uh, Flip HD, I think Cisco, the networking company, made that. I had that many years ago. I also had the Polaroid Cube at one time, that little kind of like toy looking thing. And then of course I have a GoPro Hero, like one of the very first GoPros, but I just use that for vacations and things like that, and I haven't used it in a few years. Hey, future Kyle stepping in here for a second. What cameras do you have? I forgot to pose that question to you guys, so comment down below your camera collection. And then as far as what's next, like I said, A6100, I'm like literally about to purchase that, and besides that, I'm not sure if I'm going full frame anytime soon. I mean, with YouTube and the photos that I take and everything like that, I like APS-C and I like that format. I like the size of the cameras and the battery life is okay for me, you know, a non, you know, semi-professional. So, so yeah, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little break from, you know, the day to day of what's going on. And I hope to make more videos like this in the future for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any of the cameras I talked about, I have affiliate links down below. If you guys purchase anything through those links, it helps me out immensely, but always find the gear where it's cheapest for you. Any of the other videos I mentioned, I'll put those links down below too, in case you wanna binge watch some stuff. And I think that's it. So thank you guys again. I will see you guys as always in the next episode. Later. <laughs>